80 million Americans that gets their news from cable, this next story may shock you. The watchdog group Fairness in Media released a report this week accusing the Weather Channel of having a, quote, clear and pronounced pro-weather bias. Joining us now live is the director of the study, Deborah Henley. Hello, Michael. Deborah, good to have you with us. Your report condemns the Weather Channel for what you call one-sided reporting. How do you back up that claim? After watching hundreds of hours of programming, we concluded the Weather Channel clearly and consistently overreports weather-related events at the expense of other topics. There are, on average, 4,000 mentions of weather in a single news day. 4,000? Yep. That's an amazing statistic. Now, are other viewpoints represented at all? Barely. I mean, you'd think that absolutely nothing was going on in the I-20 corridor other than light showers and isolated tea storms. And even more insidious, they try to make their programming look varied by covering things like flight delays and vacation destinations, but they always manage to bring it back to weather. Well, let's see what you're talking about. Here's a clip from the Weather Channel. That's Great. Right. Okay, like look at this clip. Break. We are going to dazzle everybody. It's the Holly Dazzle Parade going on in Minneapolis. This is at Nicolette Mall. And, of course, this location typically quite cold. So Do you see this? It does seem fairly blatant. Yes. I mean, if you look closely, you'll see their news ticker is little more than the temperatures of various cities running 24 hours a day. I have noticed They that. even use, do you see this, background images to subtly influence your beliefs about weather. So it's a problem not only with the stories themselves. Exactly, Michael. And they use flashy graphics and smooth jazz to distract viewers from the unrelenting pro-weather agenda that they're constantly pushing. That's unbelievable. What's behind it all, though? Well, what we've discovered in our research is that there's an ancient cabal of powerful weather fanatics operating outside any government, sometimes called the Cloud Elders, sometimes called the Night Doppler, pulling the strings not just of the Weather Channel, but of the umbrella industry, the sunscreen industry. We have to fight back. Deborah Henley of Fairness in Media, thank you and good luck with getting your message heard. Thanks, Michael.